Hey, 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 pretty girls, it's All Things Pretty, and I am coming to you with video number two of the Nano Writing Collab with Poet Spice here on the YT. So, I am here to share some answers to some questions, and I'm going to be looking at my notes and sharing them with you. So, the questions that we're going to be talking about today have to do with my planning process. So the first question, and we're just going to dive right on in so that this video is not super long because I could talk a while about writing. So how are you planning your novel or piece? <clears throat> well, if you missed the first video, go ahead and check that out. Um, it was October 1st. It was our intro video on the Nano Writing Collab, and I talked a lot about um, what I was going to be doing. But my goal is to write a novel it is going to be young adult literature fiction and planning normally I don't plan but I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot I'm going to plan using a graphic organizer similar to one that I might use with my students so I'll show you an example of one that I would use with my um, middle school students or high school students so this is a plot diagram I hope I'm in this picture um, and this is pretty much an example of how I would go about plotting my um, novel. And I need this visual, visual so that I am able to see some kind of organization or order to my story, um, exposition, how the story begins, exposition, um, the setting, the characters, you know, what is the initial problem. And then this rising action, like how the plot starts to um, reach its climax or it culminates. Um, and then how the uh, falling action is how that climax or problem starts to resolve itself. And then what is the resolution? What themes I'll be dealing with? And then, of course, your good and your bad guy, protagonist, antagonist, conflict, all of that. So this is an example of a sheet similar to what I'm going to use. This is actually the sheet that I am using. Um, the only difference is it's a little bit more detailed and it gives you lines and more space to write out information. So to answer your question, I'm doing a plot diagram. That's how I'll be planning this time. Question number two, what's um, your outline or prep process? Um, I don't really have a prep process. I have this writing novel, I mean writing novel, writing notebook that I got from Goodwill a few months ago. I'll be using this to document or jot down ideas. So for example, um, I really like doing like word splashes. So I will document or write down words and I'll pull from there different ideas or thoughts or maybe later on in the story as the plot thickens, then I can go back and use some of those vocabulary words or concepts or thoughts. So that's one way. It's kind of like a brain dump or word splash on a page. Um, I've also been watching some YouTube videos, and this is um, how to outline and some writing tips. So, um, and this is one of my favorites to watch, Francine Simone. I've been watching a lot of her videos and getting some kind of random tips from her that might help. And I've also been kind of um, stalking other author tube people here on the YT to see what their process is. Um, just been looking at random videos. Um, 10 tips for writing great young adult fiction. Um, I watched a video on that and I got some notes and documented so I guess um, the answer to that question pretty much is um, documenting in my writer's notebook and then going back through and fielding the information as necessary to put it in my story. And I am super excited about this story. I really, really am. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep the secret, but I also learned that the premise of your story it's probably not the first time that you've come up with that premise. In fact, you know, the wheel was already created. It's all about how you reproduce that premise and make it come alive. 
So, um, yeah, that kind of brought some insight to me because I had to think about it. Like, how many stories have I read with the same premise, but they were very different in how they were delivered? So, so I'll probably share my story. Um, will you be having or making a writing survival kit, playlist, talisman, etc.? Um, probably not. And the answer to that is no, because I can't write and listen to music. In fact, I don't do well with noise. I like music, but music has its time and place for me. I might be able to listen to television and write, but I don't really have a survival kit. Like I need, I need to have music. I need to have earbuds. I need to have this. I don't really have that. Um, I will need my computer and I will need my writer's notebook. Um, I have ordered some supplies um, off of thriftbooks.com. Uh, more specifically, this is the first one that I've received. No plot, no problem. And this is a guide to writing your novel in 30 days. And it was actually written by one of the NaNoWriMo people. So I'm super excited to dig into this and see what tips they have. I need to go ahead and do it before NaNoWriMo starts because it's kind of silly to think that I could read this and write in November. I need to have this read. <coughs> Excuse me. I have also ordered a few other writing books, so I'm hoping they come in soon so I can share them with you. So yeah, I think I paid like $3.89 for this book. So, um, no survival kit, a writing ritual. I don't have any rituals because writing is very much a mood thing for me. I used to do a lot of poetry and so, um, I would write by a spell. So if I was going through something, if I was angry, if I was happy, if I was sad, whatever I was going through, um, I would sit down and write or I don't really have a ritual, the short answer. Would I like to? Yes. I would love for my ritual. This is my what I'd like for my ritual to be. I would love for my ritual to be to walk out into the back of my home, which faces a beautiful beach, and I can watch the ocean waves crash and listen to the sea gulls and have my windows open and feel that ocean breeze and that would be my ideal writing ritual to go in that kind of element. But that ain't happening. So I do not have a writing ritual. Who knows? Maybe this attempt at Nano will help me to create a writing rit ritual. And I think I don't have a ritual because I have not been successful in this process before. So maybe once I fully complete fully complete a process, I will have some takeaways from that process that will say, don't do this next time, do this next time. That worked for you. That didn't work for you. So that is my goal. My goal for this time around is to just finish it. Just get my 50,000 words on the page and not worry about how correct it is or technically written it is. Just get the words on the page. That is my goal. And I can go back and worry about editing and revising and tweaking and beta readers and all of that fun stuff that comes along with writing. So that is my video for today. So just to recap, my writer's notebook is what I'm using. I am also reading this. No plot, no problem. And I am using a plot diagram to graph my story. Hmm. So I hope that answers your questions. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to leave them in the description box below. I don't know that I'll have any answers, but I'll do my best to try. Thank you all for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video, which according to my trusty notes is October 25th. We're still be dealing with the planning process because this is actually called Preptober. Nano starts November 1st, and that's when we actually dive into our 50K. 
So thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support. And until next time, happy writing, happy crafting. Just do what you love.